Tony poor old Tony Schiavone tried to interview Pockets, and he said two or three words. It's not even worth talking about. Uh, Dasha is w- in the parking lot when Cody and Arn pull up. They are actually rematching Cody with Pockets next week. Oh, joy. Oh, bliss. Oh, be still, my fluttering heart. But Dasha talks to Cody. Cody's talking about Pockets saying he has to beat me. I'm the champion. Like, that Cody might have trouble beating him. But I guess since he went 20 minutes last week, he might. Which is, and Arn Anderson says nothing except hello to Dasha. So now we've got Cody, you know, wasting his time fucking around with this piece of shit. Uh, Is Arn Anderson Cody's Ed Strangler Lewis? Apparently. I was looking at some pictures of Fez and Ed Strangler Lewis. I tweeted some out earlier, and I'm thinking, hey, that kind of reminds me of Arn. Just standing there, doesn't really say anything, doesn't really do anything. because at the time, Strangler Lewis was broken blind. And blind, yeah, that's right. (laughs) So you've got Cody Rhodes and Arn Anderson doing an interview. Cody's the only one that speaks, and he's having to act like fucking pockets is a legitimate threat to him in any way, physically, as far as being a star, as far as anything. And by the way, a couple other notes. She called him Cody. His name on the show is Cody. I saw the commercial for that variety show, whatever it is that he's on on TNT. In the commercial for it, they call him Cody Rhodes. Because it's not wrestling. Ridiculous. Also, I can be Cody Rhodes if it ain't wrestling. As a matter of fact, then they ought to just call him Cody Rhodes (laughs) on AEW because that ain't wrestling either. I hate... Look, if you were going to make these guys executive vice presidents, isn't what I would do, but more power to you. But I hate bringing it up on camera. This guy who's involved in a feud with someone else, this guy who's a champion in this company, he's not here today to be involved in wrestling. Just to be an executive vice president. I don't know. I don't think that's a productive thing. Just to go thing. in and tell all the people who work for me what to do, that I'll be wrestling in the near future. Yeah. Eh. Once again, if I had advised someone, what I would have said was, yes, make it a wrestler-friendly company. Have a, have a, 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 a guy that you appoint as the head of the wrestler's union or players league or whatever and that you take their input seriously and it's a a a wrestler friendly environment not like some of these evil corporations so what happened he made five of them real executive vice presidents fucking hell kingston rebutted moxley It was a great promo from Eddie Kingston. I wrote, I would love to see him on a wrestling program sometime. Um, He was the only thing that was worth a shit in Chikara. When we did the Ring of Honor crossover that brief period of time, I didn't like the guys in the pajamas playing wrestler and playing luchador. It was ridiculous. And that's where a lot of these fucking vermin come from. But... For whatever reason, Eddie Kingston was working there. I mean, he was local to the area, but that somebody didn't pick him up back then because I heard his promos and he could fucking fight and throw the punch. We had him come in and do a fucking match with Steen for the Ring of Honor title just so he could, just because he could cut a good promo. I don't know why he was wasting his time with the fucking play wrestlers. Maybe he would have got further if he had not been saddled with that reputation. But good promo. Uh, 